Hey there YouTubers, Tom here from Tom's Test Kitchen and I'm going to attempt to make a sandwich that I've never tasted. I've seen it, I've seen it a couple times because it was featured on Adam Richman's Best Sandwich in America. It's called the Yardbird. So I got some chicken breasts, some uh, applewood smoked bacon, some stone ground mustard, that seems like that's what they use, some barbecue sauce, this is a a sweet Midwestern sauce. Got some cheddar cheese and I've got some of these hamburger buns. They called for poppy seed buns but I couldn't find any poppy seed buns so I'm gonna use this. So I'm gonna brine these these boneless skinless chicken breasts first because I think that's probably what they do. Okay let's continue on with the chicken part of this. Got some charcoal over here with some hickory. I'm going to indirect grill this chicken, pick up some smoke, and it looks it looked as though on watching the videos, the video again from Best Sandwich in America, that the chicken had um, a barbecue sauce on it. So. I'm going to let that go a little bit and then when I come back out I'm going to brush it with some uh, a mid Midwest uh, barbecue sauce that's kind of sweet because that's what I figured they probably would have used. Uh, so let's, I'm probably going to leave this on about an hour. That should be sufficient. So we'll see. Well from watching the previous video it looked like there was some kind of a, of a regular barbecue sauce on top, so it only makes sense because that's going to keep it from drying out. So I'm going to add some of this. And yeah, it'll keep that chicken from drying out. Now, I forgot to mention that I had brined this chicken for three hours. Just a simple salt black peppercorns, water, so it should be really, really tender. And once again, just with the sauce, that's going to keep it from drying out and add some flavor. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to add another chunk of hickory. fire there. Really get some of that hickory flavor in there. There we go. We get get that smoke up. Okay, I'll be back when we're about ready. Let's well, spend an hour on the grill. The hickory smoke going. So let's check some of these. Looking for a 165 in the thickest part. And that's a 170. That's a 180. 182. These birds are ready to come off. I'm just going to bring them in and let them rest. And I'm going to slice them up and then continue with the rest of the sandwich. So join me. No, oh, it's still good and hot. I still think I'm going to throw another chunk of uh, wood on there. Because I want to finish it off here. Okay, now you want to toast the buns. The chicken is ready in there. I'm going to finish it off inside because I think it'd just be a lot easier. I got to do three, three sandwiches and I'm going to finish off inside. So I just want to toast these buttered, buttered rolls. 
And uh, the original recipe called for a poppy seed roll, but I could not find any poppy seed rolls. But this is one of my favorites. I use it all the time, so I'm sticking with it. Shouldn't take long for these to toast up. No, that'll be perfect. Up some of that nice hickory flavor. Uh oh, that one's sticking. What the heck's up with that? Might be too hot. Ah, that'll be okay. Okay, I'm gonna finish these up. Yeah, there, that's what I'm looking for. You know why that's not sticking? I mean, that's why that's sticking. I didn't use real butter. I used, um, I grabbed something that I thought was butter, but it wasn't. It was my wife's. Yeah, I'll take care of it. I'll see you back inside. Okay, let's put this sandwich together. I've got a nonstick skillet going here, and I've got some uh, buttered and toasted buns over there on the side. So now all's left is to get this chicken going. So I've thinly sliced about two and a half of these chicken breasts. They were pretty big chicken breasts. I'm just going to add them to the, the skillet. And then we're going to add... So let's just kind of toss this around a little bit to warm it up. And evenly distribute the chicken. And then we're going to add that stone ground mustard. Because that seems like that's what they used. It slows barbecue. So we're going to add a generous amount here. I don't know, that might be a quarter of a cup, maybe a little bit more. And then a little bit of water, because you don't want this to be too thick. You want it to be a, a, a nice light sauce. So just stir to incorporate that really well. Coat the chicken really well with the, the mustard sauce. Or the it's actually mustard. It's not a mustard. I think it slows. They used. They said that it was like a mustard-based barbecue sauce. But um, I'm just gonna go with some stone ground mustard. Now the original recipe that slows has it had sautéed mushrooms. I forgot to pick up mushrooms. There we go. Buttered and toasted. It it used. Uh, sauteed mushrooms but I forgot the mushrooms so I'm not adding it to this but it shouldn't affect the flavor we got our chicken and our mustard going with a little bit of water just kind of thin out that mustard now we're gonna add some sharp cheddar some shredded sharp sharp cheddar cheese and the water will help aid this as well make it more more creamier you know smoother so Madden figured about a cup, a cup of shredded cheddar cheese, um, seems to be fine. So now we're just going to toss this all together, get that cheese melted, get it nice and gooey. Might have to add just a little bit of water because you, you don't want it really thick. You want to kind of create a nice sauce, a nice creamy sauce just keep tossing that to coat and get that cheese melted and really incorporate the mustard yeah I really wanted to do this outside on the grill but 
it was pretty warm out and I decided to do it inside. Plus I'm making three sandwiches and I just don't have enough room outside. <laughs> Need to get a bigger table for when I'm cooking outside. Okay, got the bacon here. So let's put one of these bad boys together. We got a buttered and toasted roll. I'm just gonna heap on a generous amount of that chicken, mustard, and uh, cheese mixture. Next time I make this, I'll, I'll I'll use the sauteed mushrooms. But like I said, I forgot to pick them up. Okay, we're gonna add some of this nice applewood smoked bacon. Okay, let's see how it tastes here in a bit. Okay, got the sandwich put together. Let's see how it tastes. Got the applewood smoked bacon. Got the hickory grilled chicken breast. Yeah, I gotta say, definitely the brining, brining the chicken breast really helped because it's really moist, it's tender, it's very juicy, and that that the barbecue sauce that I grilled it with, that's definitely the way to go. So there you go, the yard bird sandwich from Slow's Barbecue in Detroit, from Adam Richmond's Best Sandwich in America.